to have somebody in the flesh that can walk with you right. and be your friend. Right. And now I'm not talking about a Facebook friend. Oh, no. I'm talking about a real friend. Go ahead, that. Someone who is there. Yeah. If they don't do anything but uh -huh. sit. That's right. And say, I'm here for support. Yeah. It's good to have a friend who knows when you're tired and right. needs some rest. You're right about it. Yeah, every now and then we who work <laughs> in this line, we don't know when to stop. That's right. Uh, my granny used to say we're burning candles from both feet. Right. Uh, we, we don't take our B12 and our vitamin <laughs> E. We don't take anything until the doctor say take it and then we bring it home and still don't take it. Right. But it's good to have a friend uh, who you might not you might not see every day. Right. right. But it's good to hear from. You are right about it. It's good to hear from that friend because it seems like right in the need of time. Yeah. Um, you can count on that person. That's right. Uh, Sister Nelson to call you up and just talk to you. It's good to hear the voice. Right. And it's wonderful to have a friend who really cares about you. You're right about it. Who really don't mind taking a stroll with you every now and then. Yeah. And the reason the relationship that you have with this person is that you've got some evidences in life yeah. that they've been there down through the years. Yeah. You, you don't have to wonder about it. You right. Know, think that if they, look, they, they might not be able to help you monetarily, uh -huh. but they can help you spiritually. Right. See, that's a good friend. A lot of times, that's a good friend. friend. We need to keep somebody close who can help us if we get in a bind. Yeah. Um, that's what Amical Federal Credit means. Oh, Lord. They got it. They got it. We need somebody yeah. uh, that we need to talk to yeah. when life yeah. is difficult, when we have seen nothing days. See nothing days. Every now and then, you're going to have some valley experiences. Right. And you can't see what God is trying to show you. Right. And so you need somebody every now and then say, what about your faith? Yeah. What about your faith? Well, I've got a friend. Yeah. And I want you to allow me to let David yeah. introduce this friend to you. Yeah. Go to Psalms 23. Oh, no. Oh, no. Psalms yeah. 23. Yeah. I could probably do just verse one. Yeah. 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 I just stop right there. But I'm going to give you what God has given me. Yeah. Um, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. And read some this wise from the King James. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I shall not want. Right. He maketh me. Yeah. To lie down on the green pasture. Yeah. He leadeth me beside the still water. Yeah. He restoreth. My soul. Yeah. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Right. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. I will feel no evil. Right. right. For thou art with me. Right. Thou rod and thy staff, they come. Right. Thou will pass a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Right. Thou knowest my head with all. Right. My cup run and go. Oh, yes. Surely goodness and mercy yeah. shall follow me all the days of my life. Yeah. And I will dwell in the house yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. I'd like to talk to uh, you from this song. When you walk with Jesus. When you walk with Jesus. My good. When you walk good, man. with Jesus. This, this, this song. Yeah. is one of the most recorded songs that you will hear in church and most of the time you will hear it at a funeral procession. Right. Amen. A lot of times you read it for devotional reading. It is a beautiful song that David wrote about life experiences. Yeah. And um, that was a story told uh, about this song that there was an oration contest that was held over in England. And they invited 
numerous ministers to come and recite the 23rd number of the song. Okay. And they had three of the most prolific speakers there who came to do the final thing. Out of all the preachers, they were selected to recite the 23rd number of the song. Okay. The first one got up and he knew it by heart and he knew how to use his hands and um, he was talking to them and they clapped because it says, man, he can remember all of that. Yeah. And then just show uh, talking. The, the other guy got up and he recited the 23rd of the song. And he did it so gracefully that everybody uh -huh. gave him a standing ovation. Yeah. But then this preacher who had not went past the eighth grade okay. came up his time to recite the 23rd number yeah. of the song. And when he got through reciting the 23rd number of the song, he didn't get a hand clap. Uh -huh. He didn't even get a standing ovation. Yeah. But there wasn't a dry eye yeah. in the house. You yeah. want to know the difference? Yeah. The old preacher knew the song was perfect. Yeah. And when you know the psalmist, yeah. you can write as David has written to us this morning. Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I shall not want. David says that all of my life, he supplied everything I need. Right. I've got evidences. Even when I played crazy before Emily, uh, the Philistine king, he blessed me. Yeah. And gave me free life. Eh? He has given me things when I was hungry. He led me into the tent and I ate from the showbread. Yeah. Oh, He's provided for me. You might not know it now, but through your life's journey, if you're over 35, you can look back in your life and see where God sent you somewhere. You didn't know how you were going to do it, but God prepared a way for you. And you can tell somebody away with it. God will prepare our way. Right. You heard my story about E.B. Hill going to prayer view. They're playing the day. And he goes to prayer view with $10. Yeah. That a, that a lady that he calls mama uh, uh, sent him to prayer view with $10. And he had $1.75 when he got there. He said he bought some chili on the way. Yeah. And a drink. And he had $1.75 to his name. Yeah. And he got in blind Taylor. Uh, he started to get out several times. Yeah. He says, how in the world? And so at that time, it was like $32 for a semester. Give me somebody. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. He don't even have 31 yeah. to, to, to even start. Yeah. So he starts to get out of line. And when there's a lane between him and the person, yeah. a guy comes tapping him on the shoulder and says, yeah. are you eating? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. See, yeah. But God. said, man, I've been looking for you. Yeah. You got a full scholarship. Oh, but God. See, when God has a plan for you, yeah. David said he'll prepare a way for you. Yeah. Let, let me help you right here quick. So let me stay here long. When God sends you, yeah. he'll prepare for you. Yeah, yeah. And if he prepare for you, yeah. he'll provide for you. Yeah. We need to understand, like David has said, said now I know yeah. that I need to write some of this stuff. <laughs> I need to write this down yeah. so that the other generation can understand right. just how good it is to walk yeah. in. Yeah. He says, I'm not going to want for anything. In other words, whatever God gives me, I'm yeah. satisfied. I don't have a wondering appetite oh, because well, he gives me what I need. Yeah. But I think what we mess up is that we want yeah. God to give yeah. us what we want. And most of what we want, we don't need. Uh, we need to understand. He says, he maketh me. Here it is, right? Yeah. Seven times. Yeah. We don't have the sense to rest. Oh, no. I, I, I've got some energetic workers in here. Yeah. Work. Yeah. yeah. They just work all the time. Yeah. They're always doing something. They always. Call, you can always call them, call them. And every now and then, yeah. God says, I'm going to lay you down. Yeah, he might give you a cold. Or he might give you a headache to make you lay down. He, he says right here, he maketh me. That was the word thing. 
to lie down in green pastures. Yeah. Look, it, they're so green, and you have to understand that David is a sheep herder, and <laughs> they move sheep from place to place. Right, right. And so he says he'll just lay in any pasture. Uh -huh. Isn't it nice to just lay down in a pasture if you were a sheep and just eat from left to right and come back? That's right. That's right. The only thing about that, I think when we're grazing sometimes, yeah. we don't want to move at all. Oh, no. We just want to eat from God's plate. Yeah. And we don't want to move and do yeah. anything. Yeah. Every now and then we have food, we just don't even thank the Lord for it. Right. We just eat it and then on our way, two days later, we realize yeah. Yeah. that we need to thank God yeah. for all of our blessings. Yeah. That's all right, too, because yeah. every now and then when you get on the other side of 60, yeah. Every now and then. Every now and then. Get some things. That's right. And if you don't get it right now, just keep saying good morning. Just That's right. I don't know, but maybe just me. You went into a room and you say, now what did I come in here for? <laughs> just keep saying good morning. Good morning. He leadeth me. Not only does he put me in a green pasture hey, that's hey. full of supply of food, yeah. he lays me next to the water stream. Yeah, that, yeah. That's a little something about this. Sheep are very afraid of water. Right. Because of their wool, and if they fall in, they will drown. Uh -huh. So the shepherd knows best for the sheep to the Keisha Paul. So what the shepherd does, yeah. it takes that little crooked stick. Right. And he goes down to where the pillows might be rolling. Yeah. And he digs a little trench. Yeah. And and moves it far enough from the pillows waving yeah. that the sheep are not afraid. Yeah. They can't go. Somebody ought to hear me. Yeah. Every now and then, yeah. God will lay you down to sleep yeah. Yeah. and then provide stuff yeah. for you not even have to move. Right. Here, here it is. He, say, he says, he says, he leads me beside the still water. Right. I don't have to worry about the storm. Yeah. Jesus explained that to his disciples one time in the end of part of a ship. Right. As long as I go home, yeah, you, know, right. you don't need to work. Right. I am the master yeah. of the ocean. And all you have to do is have faith. Yeah. And I can say, peace be still. He leaded me beside the still water. Yeah. God wants the best for us. Yeah, he does. And the word, he's leading us where he wants us to be. Right. And all we do have to do is acknowledge him. Yeah. He restores my soul every now and then. I don't care who you are. Yeah. A Christian on the way, you're going to lose some faith. Right. You're right about it. Your degree of faith is not going to be always 100%. You're right about it. That's just the real deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because reading. every now and then there are some things that will shock your very foundation. Oh, yeah. And so you need to know that that he restored your yeah. soul. Yeah. How does he restore your soul? Because you reflect back on where you were and where you should be. And look where you are now. Yeah. Right. Because a lot of us should be dead yeah. and sleeping in our grave. Yeah. While we were looking and crooked, yeah. God should have been looking and bucking. But he gave us grace, grace. unmerited favor, yeah. to get us here today. Yeah. Now we all have sinned and come short of God's glory, right. but he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Yeah. Now pick up on this, not for my good, right. for his good. Right. So let me help you here. There's a lot of places that you went. Yeah, yeah. A lot of places that you are now going, yeah, yeah, yeah. you didn't do that on your own. Yeah. Right. He led you to glorify Him. Yeah. The reason why you're a Christian today is not because you were so good, yeah. but because He could use you. Right. And He could lead you. Yeah. And he says He leadeth me what? in the path of righteousness yeah. for His name's sake. That's so right. Whatever I'm supposed to be doing as a Christian, I'm supposed to be glorifying Him. Right. So therefore, if I'm a child of the King, I just can't do anything. Right. Hey. I just can't wear anything. Hey. I, I just can't go any place hey. if I'm a child of the King. Right. Now some people say, well, you know, that's my business, but that's all right. Yeah. Uh, like I've said before, it's good to witness. Uh huh. And it's okay to drink that day. Oh Lord. A leaf of milk, or brown roll, apple, or whatever you got. But if someone would stop and ask you something about yeah. Christ, it's hard to witness without calling you. Oh, Lord. Keep it real. Now, the thing about it is we have to understand uh, that if it offends your brother, you all not do it. That's right. I, I'm 
to help somebody, some of them looked at me funny like that. Wait on, wait on. There's nothing wrong with drinking. Yeah. yeah. But you don't want to drink to the point yeah. to where you become obnoxious and offensive. Yeah. And that you say something that you've been wanting to say. Right. Because guess what? Last protection. 
Right. The, the, the crook was used and the staff was used to fight off beasts. Right. Uh, because uh, as the sheep were going, they are defenseless. Right. And, uh, you know, sometimes the shepherd was the only thing between them and the sheep. You're right, buddy. Right. I'm so glad. Yeah. I've got a tree. Yeah. yeah. That's between me yeah. and the world. Yeah. yeah. Because when everything goes wrong, yeah. I've got a friend I can call on. Yeah. And even if it's late in the midnight hour, yeah. he'll walk with me. Yeah. And every now and then, when I ask his son to pray, he'll talk with me. Right. And let me know that I'm still his own. I'm almost through with this. Now, now, this is what I really like about this. He says, he says in verse 5, he says, Thou preparest a table before me and the presence of my enemies. There's nothing anybody can do to you to stop God from blessing you. Yeah. Right. You're right, buddy. That, that there is nothing. There is nothing that someone can have a defense line that God can't go over, around, or under. And so we need to understand that. Let, let's see if we can look at this just for a couple of minutes. Go ahead. Here it is. He says, when everything is going wrong, yeah. when you have those see-nothing days, see nothing day. when you have those low, uh, spirit-filled days, oh, yeah. he says, God will prepare yeah. a table for you in the presence yeah. of my enemy. Yeah. Let, let me see if I can help you. When, when David was running from Saul, yeah. And, and and Saul was high in suit of him. Yes. David had David David watched until Saul went to sleep. You right, Pastor. And then walked in the camp. Yeah. Ate food from Saul's way. Yeah. Go ahead. And cut a piece of his hem off. Let him know you've been there. And then went on the other side and said, Hey, hey, hey. hey. Thou preparest me a table. Yeah. In the presence of mine enemies. Yeah. And then he says, They are known it. My heart, my head was off. That would be worth it. My cup run is over. Run it over. Every now and then the sheep would get straight. Yeah. They would get little fleas and things on. They yeah. would uh, get thorns and stuff straight inside. Every now and then uh, the sons would take uh, olive oil. Yeah. And, and he would anoint those souls to keep the flies yeah. from blowing into that. It will soothe. Yeah. Every now and then God takes us yeah. and anoints us with his Holy Spirit yeah. to uh, soothe our suffering and pain. Yeah. God is an awesome God. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I'm not worried about that. No. When David, one of the things is when David was running from Saul, yeah. he was at Indigo and uh, he was in a cave. Go ahead. And uh, he desired some water from Jerusalem. Yeah. He had 300 men. Yeah, he did. And two men. Yeah. Decided for going. That since David is out the war. Yeah. They went through the Philistine line. Yes. To get a cruise of water. Yeah. From the roof. The end is all over. Yeah. Which feels just waiting to jump. Yeah. So here they went through the line. Yeah. Got the water and came back to the same enemy line. And gave and gave David the water. And David was so impressed about his men that he wouldn't even drink it. He held it up for a sacrifice. Oh, Lord. What have you told God thank you for? Oh, Lord. God has brought uh, things, gifts, and, and blessings through any line. Yes. Yeah. You've done lately to say thank you, God. Yeah. My good God. It's My like David God. told. Daniel, when he was in the lion's den. Yeah. Daniel said, what took you so long? Yeah. I was, I was beginning to wonder. He said, you just don't know? Yeah. What I had to go through. Yeah. To get here. Yeah. We don't know That's right. what God has to get through. Yeah. Or send someone through to bless you. Right. But he's got a blessing with your name on it. Right, right. And whatever is for you, it's for you. It's for you. Yeah. Can't nobody else take it. That's right. They have known this for heaven cup. Now let me help you. This cup that's full, yeah. It's not to sit there and look at it. Right. The cup that's running over, yeah. You need to spread that around. Yeah. When if you get a blessing, give somebody else. That's right, that's right. God wants to get a blessing through you. Yeah. To somebody else. Right. But if we sit here with closed fists, yeah. then our blessings in it, nothing coming in and nothing going out. Yeah. You got the same thing you had all along. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta let go yeah. in order to get more. That's what he says. He says, my cup runneth over. God yeah. has blessed me so much. And all of us sitting here as I close, 
God has blessed us above measure. You're right about it. We've got so much yes. to thank God for and to share and glorify God yes. for his goodness. His goodness. And, and then he's got assurance here in verse 6. He said, surely, yes. knowing all of this, yes. knowing where he's brought me from, yes. knowing what he's brought me through, yes. knowing he set me up to be king, yes. from a shepherd boy to a king, yes. and now look where I am, surely. I got no doubt about it. Yes. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. It's already been with me. Yes. I, I've got two angels. I've got one goodness yes. and I've got mercy on the other side. Yes. And they walk with me there yes. and get me to where I go. See, that's the only thing you got there is that you got goodness yes. and you got mercy yes. that gets you to work, that gets you home, yes. that gets you rest in your house. Yes. You sleep in your house and a bullet can come through. Yeah. 